What's going on YouTube? Robbie again, and today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Prime Beast Hunters Dreadwing. Uh, this is the deluxe incarnation of our dear departed friend Dreadwing, and uh, he is a beautiful butterfly. Uh, <laughs> so, I, I don't know really what to say about this guy. He, uh, It makes no sense to have him, <laughs> but... Uh, the worst part is he looks pretty cool from what I can tell. Uh, he's got a Dread Assault Cannon included. Uh, you can see his stats are very high, <laughs> oddly enough. Uh, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, and his bio says here, uh, The powerful Dreadling flies to war for Megatron and the glory of the Decepticons. Hmm, interesting. Uh, so he's got the Dread Assault Cannon, Launching Missile, Weapons Combine, etc., etc. Uh, yeah, so he's got the big, uh, Lungs of Death there, and, uh, yeah. Very interesting. I definitely need to, to uh, you know, see this guy to believe him. Uh, that's for sure. So, I'm gonna open him up, and, uh, we're gonna check him out together. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright guys, here is Dreadwing, Deluxe Dreadwing, I should say, Beast Hunter's Dreadwing, even <laughs> more so. And, uh, first thing I want to say is his coloration is really cool with the, just the way the black swirls go, uh, through his wings. Um, I really do like the look of that. I like the overall look of his jet mode. I think, I think they did a pretty good job. Um... He does, however, have obvious hands and obvious, well, I guess they're not obvious feet because they don't look like feet, but he has obvious, like, talons or leaves or <laughs> something sticking out of the back of his jet mode, but uh, be that as it may, let me pop all the weapons off of here. As you can see, you can attach all of his uh, various weaponry to his jet mode, which is pretty cool. He gets this um, big yellow gun thing. Looks like kind of a nerf gun. Um, he gets some missiles. Yep, yep, yep. And he gets this big other yellow thing that is really, at least on mine, a pain in the butt to get in his, you know, attach uh, in any way, shape, or form. And uh, I'll show you that in just a minute, but let's take a look at his uh, his jet mode here. As you can see, it's, um, basically he's the uh, Dreadwing Jet, uh, though this time he's got kind of a hooked beak, like a bird of prey sort of thing going on here, and uh, obviously he's got the talons sticking out the back. Um, so, I mean, with the beak, you could kind of tell yourself that these are intentional to, to make him look like more of a bird of prey, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. But he's... Got obviously a uh, a robot kind of piled up underneath his uh, underneath his body here, uh, but I really overall I like I like his jet mode I do um, I think it's neat I like the way they they got it to transform simple as it may be but uh, it's an interesting take on Dreadwing it's just kind of a weird shame that they picked a character that's not in the show anymore <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Um, yeah, but there's not a whole heck of a lot to say about this mode. Uh, you've got little wheels molded on his, uh, on his, uh, legs. Uh, you've got a front landing gear. And that's really it. I mean, there's not really much by way of articulation. You can do the, the, the wing thing in this mode if you choose. You can separate that, but it's not necessarily meant to do it that way. Uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and get this guy into robot mode, and to do that, what we we'll want to do is just kind of take the wings and just kind of pop them up. They're going to separate from the arms here. You can see there's a little tab and a little slot in the wing there. Uh, then we're going to kind of pull the, uh, the intakes on the sides of the jet out a little bit and just kind of separate those. These are going to become his shoulder pads in just a moment. Then uh, we just kind of want to take his legs, pull them out and down, and then they're going to separate. They're attached 
here to this this piece by these little little slots in his uh, in his calves, and then we just flip this whole thing around, and this is become going to become the torso of uh, of Dreadwing here, and then basically we just pop the whole situation right up there. This comes out and down, boop, just like so. Uh, shoulder pads just come down, like so. And then his arms, if you could leave them like this, it's much more G1 this way. <laughs> oh gosh, guys, I, uh, you know, I love I love the first generation Transformers as much as the next guy, but those toys were terrible. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, um, so we just stretch out his arms like so, and uh, that's basically Dreadwing right there. Uh, yeah, pretty decent. I really, I really like his head sculpt. I think that they did a great job on his head sculpt there. And again, the uh, the, the dark gray and the black kind of mixed together. Uh, makes his head just really stand out really nicely. Um, it it would have been nicer to see this on maybe a, a new character, <laughs> but that's all right. So there is Dreadwing, and uh, when it comes time in Dreadwing's life, uh, he will climb onto a branch like so. He will lay down, and he will start spitting out silken saliva, wrapping it all around himself until he's formed a cocoon. And then at the proper time, the cocoon will open and reveal Dreadwing is no longer simply a Decepticon plane, but that Dreadwing is in fact, wait for it, a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. Isn't that just... Doesn't that just touch you, guys? Isn't that just amazing? Uh, so yeah, Dreadwing has this uh, wing situation going on here. And uh, I don't really know what to say about it other than is it for mating? <laughs> um... Yeah, I mean, he's got that. So it could be like, you know, these flare out and shoot beams or something. I, I really don't know. It looks very interesting. Uh, not terrible. And again, it would be awesome if this were any other character but Dreadwing. Just a new character. Why make it Why make it Dreadwing? Because he looks similar? You've already had two characters based on the same exact mold anyway. What difference does it make? Just make a new character with a similar body style. Um, but anyway, uh, so articulation. He's got ball-jointed shoulders, uh, which can be limited, but the, the shoulder pads actually move out of the way, so you can get kind of whatever you want out of there. Um... The shoulder pads are, in fact, also articulated, which is very nice. Head is just a swivel and a very tight one at that. Uh, he does have a lower bicep slash knee swivel, and of course the knee uh, bend itself. He can kind of do this because of transformation, so you can get good like uh, head scratching poses out of him, or you know salute if you want. Uh, you know, uh, so there's that. Uh, no waist articulation. His hips are ball joints, and he does have a knee swivel, uh, which is nice because they didn't necessarily have to put that in there, but it's, it's just nice to have. Um, he's got knees going on. You can bend his, you can break his knee incorrectly, and uh, his feet, his weird bird feet, are on ball joints, so you can get decent posability that way as well. Um, I don't know what made them choose bird feet. I don't know if it was part of the. Uh, you know, part of the plane aesthetic to kind of make it look more like a bird of prey. Um, but you can't, they are big enough that you can get decent poses out of him. And he does look, I, he, this would be such a cool character if it were not trying to be Dreadwing. I don't get it. Uh, but anyway, as for his weapon, you, it's a, it's a gun. <laughs> and, uh, you know, 
and fire it like so, or you can just stick the missile in that side and stick this the, uh, lungs of doom here uh, in the other side, and it can take some doing just like so. And uh, then he can he can hold on to that. He can like swing it around this way. Uh, you can just kind of hold it like so, which is actually pretty cool. Um, he can hold it up towards the top here. He can do whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy. Um, but yeah, I mean, overall, it's it's not a repaint. It's a new mold. Uh, it just boggles my mind that they decided to make this new mold into a character that A, is no longer in the show, and B, doesn't need a new toy. It really doesn't. Um, I understand why they did that with Ultra Magnus. I, I totally get that. Um, but this guy, I don't, I don't really understand. Uh, but either way, not a bad toy. Um, he's, he's certainly fun enough. He looks kind of goofy with the, you know, the, all the Beast Hunters aesthetic going on a little bit. But, um, if you can imagine him as someone other than Dreadwing, he's actually a pretty cool character, a pretty cool figure. Um, yeah, a worthwhile purchase, I would say, especially if you can get them on sale. Um, yeah. I'll do a quick size comparison here. Uh, here he is with Ratchet. So you can see he is a little bit shorter than Ratchet, um, but he is also a lot, lot wider. Uh, so yeah, there is that. But anyway, I think that's going to do it for this review, guys. I want to thank you so very much, as always, for watching. Uh, be sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And uh, just stay tuned. I've got some more Transformers coming up, and hopefully hopefully, lots more in the next, uh, next month or two. So uh, keep on the lookout for that. Uh, thanks again for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.